Hi, this is Emily at Hall of Horses, and today we are focusing on grooming a horse. Today I'm going to walk you through the tools and the system that I go through to get very dirty horses to being very clean. So with our very dirty and very pregnant Synergy, we are going to start with our curry comb. There are a couple different kinds you can get. Some people like the really big nubbies and some people like the little nubbies. I personally like to be able to get my hand in behind the curry comb so that I can really get in there and get the dirt out. So I'm just gonna start on her neck and I'm going in really small circles against the hair. And what the curry comb does is it stirs up all the dirt and all the loose hair to get it up and away from the body. So everything that's loose is just gonna pop off of her skin. And don't be afraid to get in there. This feels really good for them. This is getting a nice massage. You see all that hair and dirt coming up? Just saying hello to the baby. And because this is a good workout for your arms, I tend to go back and forth with my hands quite a bit. <laughs> And once you groom, you'll start to find the way that you like to use your arms and move your body around to get all that dirt off of your horse. And you really want to remember to do their legs as well. So I keep a good amount of pressure from the knee or the hock up. And then when I go below the knee or the hock, I lighten my pressure a little bit, but you still want to make sure that anything under the hair, you're getting off of the body. down the front leg and we are in the midst of shedding season so we are getting a lot of hair off of her and then very very lightly on the face I let her roll in the mud this morning so she has a lot of dirt just sticking in those hairs some horses you just want to go really gentle around their ears and their face until they get used to the fact that you're going to be brushing their face. Oh, this is a really good side. All right, so we're just gonna groom one side of her body so that you can see the difference. So after we're done with our curry comb, and I'm just gonna leave that right there, we go to our hard brush. So hard brush, really stiff bristles so that you can get everything off of her skin. So now I'm gonna lay all the hair back down. So short, hard little strokes, laying the hair back down into place. I would advise keeping your mouth closed or else you're gonna eat a lot of dirt and a lot of hair. And then same thing, I'm gonna do the legs a little bit harder on the top of the leg and then just a little bit gentle from the knee down. Get all that hair back into place. Always have to remember to do the belly. And so I just keep going over the horse until a lot of this dirt stops coming off. But don't get too carried away because you can brush all day and the dirt will keep on coming. And then make sure when you're doing this on your own that you do the other side. And I'm just going to go really lightly over this big old belly bump because Synergy is 10 months pregnant. And she is loving this little massage. Okay, so next brush, I'm going to go to my Shoshin and my hairbrush. I am a big fan of Shoshin to get out dirt and tangles. And then these brushes. These are Oster brushes, and this one's had a lot of love, <laughs> but these two will last you a long time. So I'm just gonna spray the Shoshin down her mane. 
and then brush it out. If your horse has a really long mane, start at the bottom and work your way up so that you're not yanking on them. I just always think if you're brushing a little girl's hair that has a tender head, you just always want to start from the bottom up and go nice and gentle. Remember to do their forelock. And same thing, if your horse is a little bit worried about its ears, spend some time just petting them up here and getting them used to their forelock being touched before you go in for the kill with your brush. And then if I want to do spray on the forelock, I usually just spray my hand and then wipe it in there instead of spraying between their ears. Some horses don't like that. There we go. All right, so then I'm gonna work back to her tail. And this is a good example of working from the bottom up. So I'm just gonna spray down her tail and then kind of push it in there a little bit. Get it in there. And then I'm working from the bottom up. So I trust her completely, so I'm okay standing behind her. If you don't trust the horse you're working with, just grab their tail and step to this side and keep your body really close. So I'm gonna start at the bottom. I like to use my leg to push against. And then I'm just brushing from the bottom to get those tangles out. And then work your hand up a little bit and hold really tight and up a little bit so that they're not feeling you pull on their tail. This should be really comfortable for your horse. If your horse has a ton of burrs in its tail, I would use um, baby oil or some leave-in conditioner or just a bunch of Shoshin and work it out really gentle. And then after you get those knots out, just go from the top down And then when you're done, you, you want to do the Pantene commercial. <laughs> Make sure your horse's tail looks really nice. Good. So then brush and show sheen down. Last but not least, it's very important to take care of your horse's hooves. So you have a choice now again. Some people really do prefer um, hoof picks that have a brush on them or that just have a pick. So you have to figure out what you like to do. I'm gonna use our brush today to get out all those, those little pieces of dirt. When you pick your horse's hoof, you want to let them know what you're doing. So instead of just going in there, start high at the shoulder and then work down the leg. And then she already knows where I'm going. So she lifted the foot for me, she was ready. And then she has pads in these front feet. So I'm just gonna scrape the dirt off of the inside Give it a little brush. And then when you release the foot, watch your toe. Step the toe away and then gently release your horse's hoof. Going down to the back, stand really, really close. Your hand goes down the leg, horse will lift its hoof. Make sure that your arm is around the back. Don't try and grab here, this can get you hurt. Wrap around and then put the horse's hoof or leg on your leg so that they feel that they have some support. Hook down and you're just running along the sides of the frog to get all of this loose dirt out. And then just a little scrape around to get all this dirt. And then your brush side, brush, brush, brush. So then when you're ready to release your horse's foot, Unhook your leg, step that toe out, and then really gently let your horse's hoof go back down to the ground so that they can find their balance again. And then do the other side. So since little Miss Synergy had way too much fun in the mud this morning, I curried her face off, and now I'm going to just take a little wet towel and <laughs> clean out her nose. Just try and get all of that dirt off of their nose. I think about horses a lot as just being little kids playing in the dirt and just causing a ruckus. So as their parents, we just have to make sure that we clean them up really nice. I know that doesn't feel good in your nose. 
So I'm just gonna wipe her nose down and then move around to a clean part on my towel so I'm not wiping her snot in her eyeballs and give her a little eye rub. And once again, not all horses are okay um, with you going towards their eye with a rag. So make sure that you prepare your horse for that by letting them look at it and smell it and get used to what it is. Thank you for watching this instructional video. For more information, please check out my website at hallofhorses.com.